Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to uh, the stream. Welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for episode number two of Perito, a pro cyclist adventure. I'm seeing that some of you are already here. I'm seeing Lebas saying hello, Dad. Well, I guess hello, son, then in that case. Uh, Eagle 8, hello, welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream. Uh, but yeah, today's episode, we're going to go through uh, the uh, UAE tour. Following uh, episode one that we started on Monday, which was a, a decent episode for us. We're going to take, I mean, I can show you right now the results. Uh, um, we did the Trofeo de Tramontana Solar Deja, which we won. We then went to the Trofeo Palma, which we also won. Uh, and the Vuelta a Murcia, which we won with a stage and a sixth position. So very, very good first episode, as I'm seeing Thais in the chat. Hello, welcome. It's... Uh, normal day at the office 60 will we'll just pace for 10 seconds i don't think there's anything else we can do right now um i mean if we can that's just surprising i guess uh who's the competition very good question very good question we have for the team saxobank andy schleck followed by alejandro verde for caisse d'epargne uh carlos astre for cervello myself with katusha uh vincenzo nibeli for liquigas Dino Kunego for the pro team Astana. Uh, why did I say pro team? I don't know. We've got... Uh, I don't think Chris Froome is considered competition. Uh, if he is, then, I mean, I guess Chris Froome, but I wouldn't believe it. L I mean, technically, I'd say Brasnagan is more of a threat. Uh, for Omega Pharma, we'll have Philippe Gilbert. Again, not exactly competition, I think that is a, a big mountain. Dan Martin for Garmin. Uh, we can just go in time score in the meantime. Vinokurov is leading Quick Step oh, with Richie Port and Heimar Zubelgia. Interesting team. Bradley Wiggins for FDG. Mikel Scarponi for Androni Gertoli with uh, Jose Rojano. Very strong team. Actually, that's like a Giro team. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chris from 2010 is pretty trash, but progression in this game is kind of mad. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up. Uh, I'm out of energy already. I'm, I'm already going to lose time. Not only are we going to lose time on like the big names, we're also going to lose time because we can't follow our team. Across the line in Al Hudariat Island for us, it's going to be far behind. Yeah, massive F. Yep, indeed. Uh, 216, as the team lost 2 minutes 6. Good. Alright. I don't think we'll create any, uh, any echelons today. It, there's just like... No, 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 there's no channels. Definitely not. But we could try to go for a win with Purito Rodriguez against the likes of uh, Marco Ban... Oh, well, I mean, thanks to the likes of Ban... Um, Luca Mazzanti, you big fam? Okay, that is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on PCM, but we move. Vladimir Carpets accelerating with Marco Bandira in the wheel. Purito isn't exactly in the wheel of the Italian rider right now. Purito, you need to come back. We're going to start this point with Bandiras. Julian Dean starts his effort as well for Tyler Farrar. Edval Brasnagan in the wheel of the American rider. There goes Perito Rodriguez. It's going to be an early launch. We're going to get jumped by a... Oh, wow, by the entire field, actually. We've started way too early. The win today in Abu Dhabi for... Uh, I was about to say Ilya Viviani. No, Daniel Benazzi ahead of Juan Jose Aedo and Yahweh Utarovic. We're going to come home in a bad 11th place. Okay, well, we're not going to make any, any, gam any gaps today. We need to count on tomorrow then, which I think will be the Jebel Afit. 20 uh, kilometers left, nonetheless, as we approach the uh, Jebel Afit, the uh, Oasis, which I talked about, which is the green Mubezara. We're going to go to 75. Uh, Kim Kershen, you can protect me. There you go. Thank you very much. I think he was already on protection. Um, all right, 16k, come on. Now, at the, the beginning, the I know the peloton is going to accelerate quite a lot. I just need to, like, hold on. Stay in their tracks, uh, and, and then we'll try ma about making a move. We'll think about making a move, as there's Van Avermaet and Andre Gordini going for the intermediate sprint. Fair enough, it, it's all on you. Uh, oh, your brother's been to more European countries, but doesn't have Denmark on his list. I mean, yeah, but again, like, it depends on his age. If he's like 22, 23, it's quite logical that he's been to more places than you have. But we're going to have the final 10, all right. We are quite... Well, could I use Kolobnev? Actually, I'm pretty sure I could use uh, Kolobnev. Wait, let me uh, let me just think about something. Kolobnev could protect Kim Kershen. I could bend the wheel of Kim Kershen. And Kim Kershen could base. There we go. 
I think that could be uh, that could be good. Something just fell off my desk. What is this? I don't know, but it was extremely scary. 82 pace for Kolobnev, currently getting blocked by Hassan Basayev. Come on, mate. Hassan, I, I, I loved you back in PCM 2010, but that's about it. There's no point you block me. Wait, Vlad Carpets, why are you here? Who are you protecting? Oh, you're protecting me as well. Oh, nice. Love that. Well, have fun then, I guess. Luca Mazanti, there's no need to relay. Marco Bandira, stop it. Oscar Alvarez, stop that. All right, good. Seven kilometers left. As there is an acceleration from Damiano Cunego on the right hand side of the road, we're going to accelerate the rhythm with Kim Kirschen. Uh, no, just Vlad Carpets wants to attack then. Okay, well, go on, Vladimir. Have fun. Have fun. Kolobnev is soon going to collapse. There goes the runner up of the 2010 Liege Baston Liege. I think, yeah, I think it was him. Just behind an Astana rider that wasn't Damiano Cunego, but Alexander Vinokurov. We're slightly, uh, slowly but surely going to catch Damiano Cunego as we're going to ask him to transcend himself. Vladimir Carpets doing a great, great job. And Laurent de is attacked because there is a gap. There is a gap with the peloton. We're going to catch the Italian rider. And we're going to immediately counter-attack. Well, actually, we're going to follow Damiano Cunego with Purito Rodriguez. And we're going to counter-attack the Italian immediately. Big attack from Purito Rodriguez. Come on, we need to create big gaps if we want anything to do in the GC. Cunego holding on to our wheel, but for how long? I do not know. I don't know if the Italian rider is going to be able to do anything. Um... He's, he's looking quite slim in the yellow situation. We have a minute on Rinaldo Nocentini, Alejandro Valverde. Meanwhile, the group with Kim Kirschen is trying to come back. A group led by Vincenzo Nibeli and I believe Andy Schleck. Damiano, mate, it's, it's time to go. It's, it's time to say goodbye to my wheel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Damiano Cunego is done for the day. We're going to zoom out of Perito and see uh, an aerial view of what's currently happening. But we should be able... To get the win today at the Jebel Afit. The first day wasn't good for the time trial. The sprint stage went badly. But Jebel Afit on our turf. It is a win for Perito Rodriguez ahead of Damiano Cunego. Vincent Sonibedi comes home in third place. With Andy Schleck and Alejandro Valverde running up the top five. GC was. This is going to make a lot, a lot of changes. Great win indeed. Thank you very much Bologna for... for the, the kind words, I guess. Uh, but GC-wise, Rinaldo Nocentini takes the lead ahead of Edvard Boasnagen. Perito moves to third position. Good. Good. We're back in. We're back in this. Valverde in fourth. Nibeli, Ricci, Paul, Visconti, Vinokurov, Cunego, Zubel. The gaps are extremely slim um, between, like, myself and, and Paul. There's only 20 seconds it takes. But we're going to start the stage already in Dubai. Uh, there is this little deal. You can see it like, just before the line. There is a big repet show, as we'd call it in Spain, and uh, this is where everything is going to be played for. We have a minus one, sadly, today with Perito. Uh, hopefully, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. As Marco Bandira has heated himself across the ground, he's not the first Katusha rider to crash today. I mean, no, sorry, I'm not the first Katusha rider to crash. Isn't that absolutely mental? I think it is. My right, effort, Kim, you, you can stop. Look, it's going to... Am I going to go acrobatic descent? Yes. No. Yes. And it's finished. There we go. Oh, actually, I can again. I can again. Come on. Vlad, mate, where are you? Oh, we've got a gap. Um. Uh. Okay. I'd be lying if I said I saw that coming. Vlad, mate, big man, just... Uh, come at the front of the peloton, because I kind of need you right now. I've lost a lot of energy by uh, just doing this this little acceleration thing. Damn, no crash. Yeah, I, I know you're disappointing, Lobas. I'm sorry about that. I, I really am. But, I mean, you, I can't crash every day. If I crash every day, then where's the fun? You can't expect me to crash all the time. But we're going to come back on the breakaway. Vladimir Carpet is low on energy. Uh, and so am I. So am I. I'm very low on the yellow. The, 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 the old yellow is not exactly in a good uh, good position. Nibali is there. Valverde is there. So is... Oh, there's still breakaway. I forgot about the breakaway. And I've started really early. Which means I'm not going to take the win. But the win today will be for Wautemol by the looks of it. 
can we at least hold on to get maybe a few bonification seconds? I think the answer is going to be yes. But it's a win for Wotemol ahead of Angel Vistoso. And we're going to come home in what is going to be... Oh, it's close. It's Nibali. Nibali's going to claim third. That's Peter Sagan. My bad. Peter Sagan, Roque Rodriguez, Alejandro Valverde. But look at this. How many people on the same line? I do not know. That's completely mental. But it's a big win for Wotemol ahead of Vistoso for the rescue piece of the breakaway. All right. Congratulations to them. Uh, but anyway, this little hill is going to come up very, very shortly. We're going to accelerate with Alexander Kolobnev, followed by Purito. Two riders that lost Liege Bastogne Liege to, to Vinokurov, one in real life and one on PCM. Right, come on. We need to pace. We need to accelerate like absolute mad lads. Because otherwise, there's literally no point. And there goes Purito. Right, does anyone follow? I'm expecting the risky to like collapse, if I'm being honest. Uh, no, don't pay 70. Are you mad? Right, what's the peloton doing? Okay, I need to go and check the other side. Uh, David Zabriskie is bringing me back. Okay. Well, then, I mean, we, we've tried. It's not going to work. No, they're, they're not exactly catching me, but I'm not catching the guys up ahead. Uh, we're going to use our gel. And we are finished. As Liquigas started their sprint. Yep, that way we're done. <laughs> we're, we're done. We're finished. We're absolutely finished. All right, who's going to take the win then? Oh, don't be advanced. No, 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 no. Okay, good. The win today for... Oh, big L. Big, big L for Robert Furster as Woj Willand wins. Despite the German raising his hand. Third place for Brasnagen, who's going to get four second bonifications. Yawin Utarovic, Guardini, Ventoso, Van Avermaet, Hausler, Benati, Tyler Farrar. Sasha Modolo, a lot of pricks, and we're going to come home in a uh, disappointed 22nd position. But what an L for uh, Robert Forster, Forster, sorry. He thought I had the win, he thought he had the win, and turned, uh, turns out he just he just didn't. He just didn't. Big L. Big, big L for Milram. Uh, but now is going to be the main stage, the queen stage of this UAE tour. Well, we'll have to create all of the gaps. Well, we'll have to create basically the win. But yeah, well, well it's wins in Korfakan ahead of Robert Fosta and in Valboisnagen. We earned, uh, we ended up in 22nd position just behind Nocentini. GC wise, Ed Valboisnagen is now one second behind the Italian rider. Uh, once again, no gaps whatsoever in the top 10, which means that with two stages left, but one tough stage left to go. Everything is yet to play for, for the GC win. It's a zero for Rodriguez. And it's a minus one for Kim Kirshen. Alright, six and queen stage of this UAE tour. Not the best of days for Perito, But we're going to see what we can do. There's already some attacks. Uh, I'm seeing Bauke Molema going in the breakaway. Benjatin Chausti, Philippe Gilbert, Daniel De Luca, Christophe Kahn, Franco Pellizzotti, Lars Sittingbach, Sandy Kazar, Amel Moinard, uh, Pascal Lemuto, Jonathan Bovry. Alright, interesting to see uh, someone like Bokum. Molomo is 8 minutes down in the GC. Okay, that's a bit mad. It's a bit mental. Now, this is the main question. How is Vincenzo Nibali? Zero day for him. Zero for Vincenzo as well. That's big. That's big. And Valverde... Plus one. Schleck? Zero. Okay. An issue. Luca Mazzanti, you can just stop, like, just ha have have a day off, mate. Vladimir Carpets, still pacing with Kim Kirshen in the wheel and Purito. Uh, Alvarez, again, stop pacing. Oh, why did we sign this guy? Like, genuinely, why did Katusha decide to sign th this guy? He's just useless. He, he's, he serves no purpose. Right, he serves to be in the Colombian National Championships, but that's about it. You're 31 years old, you can't progress. 13k to go. Leopold Koenig still leading the peloton. Good good run for uh, the Czech rider, although he looks to be completely knackered. Right, we're just going to take a look. Uh, Andy Schleck, decent yellow. More than me, actually. Valverde, quite ropes. Nibali, a decent yellow as well. It's going to be between Nibali, um, Nibali, Perito, and Schleck. He's starting to get Katusha's positioning doping test. 
<laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see that if, like, he wins the Vuelta. Yeah, sure. He's, he's definitely not a not clean. But Kolobnev is going to replace uh, Vladimir Karpets, who's finished his job. Still 130 riders in this peloton. Now, this is where they usually stop pacing. The question is, do I stop pacing? I don't think I want to. I want to, like, just create gaps. And to create gaps, I need to, like, say goodbye. Kolobnev, mate, stop, stop your day. Just, again, have fun. Climb, the, climb this at the pace you want, but just don't block me. That's all I'm asking. Nocentini, his yellow is looking ropes. Where's Andy Schleck? Well, Nibali. Nibali has more yellow than I do. And so is Schleck. Is that Valverde attacking? No, 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 no. Alejandro, mate, that's too early. It's way too early. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, my, my plans are now gone. Big attack from my, from uh, Heimar Zubeldia, who's now deciding to, to, to stay out. Uh, Alejandro, can you chill? Can you, like, pl please chill? Attack from Maldonado. Okay. I mean, he's, he's shown his colors. He's now completely dead. All right, I don't know what to do. We're going to have to follow Nibali as soon as he makes a move. Because I'm positive that Vincenzo will have to make a move. The the squall of Messina, the squall that's so French. I've just translated the French word into an English word with an accent. Uh, all right, let's take position beyond the shark of Messina. Much better. How are Valverde and Schleck looking? Valverde is dead. Schleck still has plenty of energy, but we do have a minute thirty lead over the rider of Luxembourg. Attack from Vincenzo Nibali. Attack from Nibali. All right. I mean, let's just, again, take position behind the Italian rider. I need to be careful about him, not about Schleck. Schleck I can deal with. Uh, although the yellow... Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, Perito, mate. Just, just hold on. That's all I'm asking you. Just hold on. Uh, he's not holding on. He, he is 100% not holding on. Okay. Well, then. Uh, what was the gap between Nibili and me? He's 43. And I'm 27. This is going to be way close. Way too close. Way too close for comfort. Andy Schleck is going to take the win at the Jebel Jace. Ahead of Nibali, Which I think is going to overtake me. Thanks to the bonus seconds. It's not all over. It is not all over. Because there's bonus seconds tomorrow. In the final stage. Who would knew? Who knew that the final stage between Dubai and Dubai could, or Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi, I can't remember, would be key to winning this UAE Tour. Uh, Kunego in fifth, Scarponi, Brankovic, Rujano, Alejandro Valverde in a disappointing ninth position. He tried to attack too early and he, he's paying the price. Dan Martin, Vinokov, Sastre, Nocenti, Nikershen, Wiggins, Tarame, Schmidt, Maldonado in, nine, in 18th. I dissed him, but it's a nice 18th position for the young region of Radio Shack. Boke Molema and Simone Stortoni, a stage winner on the Giro, I think. Was it him that like did the uh, the middle finger when he won? I think it might have been in. It might have been in. Uh, finishing in 20th. But this is the key moment. What does that mean for the classification of this UAE Tour? I think like we, if we can be less than 10 seconds, that'd be nice. Less than 10 seconds, I'll take it. Schleck is the strongest. Andy Schleck wins at the Jebel Jace. 20 seconds between me and Nibali. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I mean, the gap is 6 seconds. I said I wanted 6 seconds. The gap is 6 seconds. Uh-huh. Well, 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 well. It's, it's going to be a final stage masterclass. It has to be. We need to do big... We need to do big between Dubai and Dubai. 121 kilometers to win this UAE Tour. It's now or never. It is now or never. I don't know. Stage 7, nonetheless. Dubai, Dubai. Already some attacks. Katusha. Are they going to pace or not? Are we going to pace or not? Uh, I mean, we can try. We, we can try to pace. Sure. But I'm not sure of what it's going to do. I'm really not not sure of what's going to happen. Uh, train, go back at the front. Already summit. A lot of riders already going in a breakaway. 64 kilometers until the 60-minute sprint. Come on, Perito, mate. There's a GC on the line. There's a win on the line. I just need you to finish third or higher. That's all I'm asking. 
I know it's a big ask, but come on. I know you've got zero today. I know you're useless today. But come on, please. Seven kilometers left. Vladimir Carpet spacing. We have a brick break after the 46th position. Sadly, Vincenzo Nibali is not in the group that got lost. Wow, that's a lot of riders actually that got lost. Like, a lot. Madness. Right, Vlad Carpet, mate. Accelerate. Use your gel. Uh, the train for Nibali, for Benati is on the right, I think. Where's Benati? Wait. Oh, there. Not even, that's, that's his journey. I don't know where's Benati. Uh, yeah, I did lose my wing when I went in the back of you. That, that, that happened. Three kilometers to go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Marco Bangira, start your sprint right now. Purito, in the wheel of the Italian rider. We're going to have to hold on as much as possible in the Italian wheels. Come on. Ah, no, we're dead. We're, we're useless. I just, nah, there was just no, nothing, nothing in the tank. As Brassenagen takes the win ahead of Modolo, Robert Furster, Guardini Ventoso, Hausler, I'd, I'm not even in the top 20. Wow. No, top 10. 13th position, Vincenzo Nibeli finishes. I mean, apparently 18 seconds behind, but the game is going to count this as no gaps. Uh, I think I could have done slightly better had I paced earlier with uh, Carpet. But we're going to take a look at the podiums. Bosnagen takes the win on this UAE Tour. Ahead of Modolo and Firsta once again on the podium and not winning. This time at least he didn't raise his hands and lost. Vincent Sunibeli wins the, G the, GT the GC. Fuck! I wanted that. I wanted the GC with Perito. We end up 6 seconds behind the Italian rider. Andy Schleck joins us uh, on the third step. 45 seconds behind. Yeah. I don't, don't know if I had it. I don't know if I had it. I don't know if I had that in the legs. Perito wins the best climbing classification. At least we'll have to uh, just um, get that as a consolation prize. Elva Boisnagen. Uh, we even lost the points classification to the last day. Like, what do you mean? What is... Th oh my god, this last day was useless. Absolutely useless. Best young rider, Dan Martin. EBH nearly stole that out of him. And best team, quick step. Oh, this is just not good. It's just not a good tour, is it? It just isn't a good tour at all. We've been shit. We've just been shit. I think we've got our, what, one win? I mean, one win, second place, a distinctive jersey. I can't exactly be disappointed, but somehow I am. Somehow I am. I have big expectations with Burrito. And second place isn't what I'm willing to, like, get. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to do better in uh, Tirreno Adriatico. I think that's my next race. Yep, Tirreno. Uh, Alright, team time trial. We're going to lose big. Flat stage, flat stage. Hilly stage, we can do something here. Mountain stage at the Prati di Tivo. Uh, this stage we can do well. And San Benito de Tronto, which will lose time again. Okay. Wait, just let me just check one thing, actually. Uh, results. UA Tour. Where did Lee Quigas finish? 144. And I lost 216. I lost 30 seconds on the Team Time Trial. And I end up 6 seconds behind. The Team Time Trial... Like, the, the, the trial... The Team Time Trial stats... The time Trial stats, sorry, English. Is killing me. Like, it just is. The amount of races we've lost due to our time trial stats is just unbelievable. And the downhill, because I've crashed a lot. Uh, you lost by dropping off the train. Yeah, I know, but even if I had stayed in the train, uh, I mean, I, I would have lost either way. I mean, I couldn't stay in the train. I just had no energy left. I just, I was just dead. Um, but right, well then. This is why we're going to wrap this uh, make for Ducas a sprinter. I, I can't even use points to like make him progress. I mean, I will be able to next month, but I, I'd rather improve in the time trials. I, I've won Tour de France. This, I, I've won sprints on the Tour with Perito. I haven't won any time trial on any race with Perito. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this is why we're going to wrap this episode up. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, then please do leave a like down below. Um, I, I know it's a stream, or I'm aware. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the next episode should be technically in two days, same time, same uh, Twitch channel. For those watching on YouTube, 
uh, you can still, I mean, go watch on, on Twitch. The link is in the description down below. Um, if you're new on both channels, then please consider following or subscribing to the channel. And I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Blackwell. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, love buster.